Hey everybody, Jeff here from Outseta. So today I want to discuss one of the common criticisms of Outseta uh, or, or just questions that we get from Webflow users in particular. And oftentimes Webflow users um, are critical of Outseta because they want to use native Webflow forms to create subscriptions and accounts. I'm going to let you in on a little secret today. You actually can do that. Where that comes from uh, is Outseta is typically integrated via what we call our sign-up embed. Our sign-up embed allows a user to pick a plan, enter their payment information, you know, actually pay you and create a user account on the back end. And we do um, see the vast majority of Outseta implementations use our sign-up embed. And there's several reasons for that. First of all, uh, we've really optimized these, these forms based on having thousands of people use these forms for sign up. Uh, but another big part of it is we do allow you to integrate our sign up embed uh, by embedding it directly on a page, by using pop ups, or by creating payment links. So we do give you a lot more integration options than just sign up forms that are embedded on a page. Um, also, like key to our approach is you can come in here and customize the design of outside of sign up embeds as well. So we give you this design tool and the general idea here is you have more than enough design control to match or to create forms that match the aesthetic of your site and your brand. So if you wanted to use dark mode or, um, you know, change the fonts or the button colors or the accent colors or the border widths, um, you do have design tools and pretty much regardless of the aesthetic of your site, you can customize our forms to look really great. But if you still want even more design control and you do want to use native Webflow forms uh, rather than outset of sign up embeds, you can actually do that using Zapier. Pretty much no one realizes this. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna show you today in this video. So let's first jump into Zapier. Uh, and this is a super simple two-step zap. Um, the first step in the Zap is just going to be a form submission in Webflow. So I'm working with a Webflow demo site here. Um, for the sake of this video, I haven't styled this form really at all, um, but it is a native Webflow form. So you get the idea. You can create a Webflow form, style it completely to your liking, and actually use that to create a subscription or account in Outseta. So here's the form. Uh, you can see it's on our demo site here. Um, we've just got a page with this simple form on it. All it's asking for is a name and an email address. Uh, but when that form is submitted, that can actually create a subscription and user account uh, in Outseta. So the first step is just triggering our Zap on a form submission in Webflow. And then the second step, step is adding an account in Outseta. So the form has been submitted. There's very little information I need to complete here, uh, but basically I need to give the account that's created in Outseta a name. Uh, I'm just going to use the name that's captured when that form is submitted, in this case, my name. Uh, next, we do need to identify an account stage. Um, if you have someone that's on a free plan or a trial, um, you can use two. If it's someone that's on a paid subscription, you can use three. In this example, I am going to sign somebody up for a free plan. So I'm going to say that they're trialing. Uh, and then if you scroll down, you can put the user's email address in this required field. And the final part here is really just adding the subscription. So you do need, if you want to create a subscription, uh, what we call a subscription plan UID. And I can grab that from within Outseta. Uh, if I come over to billing and plans, I can click on any of my plans. In this case, I'm going to click on this free plan. And there's an alphanumeric value that you will find in the URL string. That's the plan UID. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to jump back into Zapier. And I'm going to put that plan UID right here. Uh, this basically tells us when we create this account, we want to subscribe the user to that specific plan. Uh, you can also add in a renewal term. In this case, it's a free plan, so it doesn't really matter much. I'm going to just put them on a monthly subscription to that free plan. Uh, but then this send confirmation toggle is also particularly important. So if you want to send the user a confirmation email after they complete that form and create their subscription, the confirmation email is what's going to prompt them to set a password so they can then log into the site. 
In this case, I'm going to, whoop, sorry about that. In this case, I'm going to say true. We do want to send that email. And in this case, we've now used a native Webflow form that you can style however you want it to. When someone submits that form, we're creating a user account in Outseta as well as a subscription. And we're even sending the user that confirmation email so they can set a password and log in. If you set up a Zap like this, you can use native Webflow forms to create subscriptions in Outseta. And importantly, this is a great process um, if you're subscribing people to a free plan to start. The one thing um, that is a little different here is if you are subscribing the user to a paid plan, you obviously haven't captured their payment information at this stage. So what's going to happen in that case is Outseta, as soon as the subscription is created, will send the user an invoice and that invoice has a link on it where the user can input their payment information so you can actually collect their payment. If you have any questions on this whatsoever, please let us know. But we hope that this gives Webflow builders a bit more design control by allowing them to use native Webflow forms.